Chef Derek Robinson has more than 40,000 followers on Instagram, and you can see why. His food looks amazing. He is in the kitchen today. Thank you, Lord. See, there's blessings everywhere. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. No problem. Thank you for having me. Your food looks great in pictures, so to see it in person is going to be even better. It's going to be awesome. And you call yourself the Mad Chef. Where did that come from? Oh, um, it's a pitch on like being a mad scientist. I'm oh. like a mad scientist in the kitchen. I kind of bend the rules, but everything come out perfect. I'm sure it does. What are you making <laughs> for us today? Today we're going to do a surf and turf, basically with a ribeye steak, butterfly lobster tail over a corn mashu. It sounds absolutely amazing. A corn mashu. Yes. Okay, see so you real fancy. Go ahead, do your thing. All right. All right. We'll All right. take a little Cajun oil. Uh-huh. I season everything with Now, this my, is your own seasoning? Yes, ma'am. Ah. Season everything with them. I'm going to go ahead and season the steak. Uh-huh. Season the lobster. And have you just been cooking since you were little? Oh, um, I've been cooking for about a good five, six years, but my mother's a pastry chef. So oh, nice. I kind of picked up after her. I went to culinary school for two years. And Great. It just haven't stopped since. Were you always kind of just gravitated towards the kitchen? Yeah, I've been cooking for a minute. Like, not professionally, I've been cooking Right, just about, around the house. Yeah. That's how it starts. That's how you get good. Definitely. And I just took it and ran with it. Perfect. Here, I will remove these from TV land for you. All right. <laughs> I'm your sous chef today. T that's, Definitely. No, that's a scary thought. All right, so tell me more about the seasonings. What made you want to do your own line, and what kinds do you have? Um, my whole family suffer from high blood pressure. Ah. So I wanted to do something that could help people out, and not just my people, but everybody. You know, in New Orleans, a lot of people have high blood pressure. Certainly. Um, so I started off with two salt-free seasoning blends. Okay. And they did so good, we went ahead and did an all-purpose, but we used sea salt instead of your regular salt. Nice. And our sodium levels is real low in it. Oh, that's such a great idea, but I'm yes. sure it's still full of a lot of flavor. What's your secret? Oh, well, I can't give the whole secret I knew away, you were but, say that. <laughs> but the seasoning blend itself is a secret. Mm -hmm. um, it is great on anything you put it on. You can put it on breakfast, lunch, dinner, steak, macaroni, lobster, you name it. Just put it on everything. everything. Okay, now let's get to this corn. What is it, makshu? Corn makshu, all okay. right. The corn makshu, basically, I'm going to take a little tasso. I mm. call it a one-pot dish because okay, you cook great. everything in one pot. Add a little onions to it. Mm -hmm. Top it off with some mixed bell peppers. Yummy. It looks pretty. And we ain't even get started yet. Oh, <laughs> see? And I'm already ready to eat it. <laughs> I'm take a little frozen corn. Okay. Why frozen corn? Oh, actually, you can use any corn. It'll okay. just be a little quicker. You gotcha. Little frozen corn. And then you're just going to mix that up in there. Let that cook down a little bit. So I know people watching this want some of your food. How do you tell people to find you? Um, simple. You can go ahead and email me at bookmadchef.net, at cox.net. Or you can go to the website www.chefgonemad.com or you can find me on Instagram at underscore chef gone mad. Listen, they've already found you on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> They're all following you. I mean, the following, it, it's big, but, you know, we still got some work to do. Oh, there's always higher to reach, but you're doing really great. Definitely. Okay, so this looks so good. What do we do next? All right. So basically, that's cooking. We're going to go ahead and flip our steak. Yummy. I'm going to add a little more seasoning on top. And we just searing the steak and the lobster. I'm going to go ahead and finish it actually in the oven. OK. Let it cook all the way through. Um, to calm my shoes on, we're going to hit it with a little heavy cream. Let this cook down a little bit. OK, your sous chef is going to get your final plating dish so that you can. Nah, you good, you <laughs> good. Super best. Yeah, I don't gravitate to the kitchen like you do. Now, can we talk about on your website? Yes. There is a thing you have called a creme brulee pie, sir. Yes. I love pie and I love creme brulee. I have never heard of them together. What is this all about? Okay, so basically, most people do the creme brulee in a small souffle cup. Um, so what I did, I love creme brulee. It's my favorite dessert. Oh, it's mine too. I took and just put it in a pie. <gasps> Oh, I made it. I found a way to put a creme brulee in a pie. So if somebody wants it, they order it on the website. How do they get yes. it? You bring it to them? Yeah. Come knock on your door. Drop it the off. The mad there. chef is just right there appearing yes. at the door. This looks yummy. Okay, you're going to plate some of this for us? Oh, uh, one sec. One sec. Okay, it sounds like you need some more time. You keep working and we'll check back in with you, okay? Okay. All right, guys, you can find the delicious food actually in nine grocery stores, including Rouse's.